Hello and welcome to a new video about AC, alternating current. Last time we talked about the parallel circuit of R and L. Today we want to talk about the parallel circuit of R and C and let's calculate all stuff which is inside there. So this is the situation and I'm looking for my combining element. U is the combining element which is true for R and C. So I'm still not my own enemy. I will use here an U which equals U times and an angle of zero. So my U is in the real axis going here. This is my U. Right? Angle zero. And the rest of the of the units I have to calculate how they will look like with this initial assumption. Let's start again with the most simple one, our IR, our current at our resistor, which is according to Ohm's law, which is by the way important, I'm not sure if I've already mentioned it, U divided by R. So we have here u raised by ej0, uh, this is ej0, divided by r, so we have here u divided by r, and then we have e raised by the power of j0, and this actually is our absolute value of ir, and the angle of r is 0, with our absolute value of ir, which equals u, the absolute value of u, divided by the resistance R. So my ER will have the same angle as my voltage. Here is my IR. Good. <laughs> That's one thing. Next thing is IC. Going through my capacitor. And again, according to Ohm's law, U divided by, and now we have to use the complex uh, resistance of our capacitor, which is 1 divided by J omega C. We have a nice double fraction here. I will solve this double fraction. J omega C U. Uh, J. Here is somewhere J. J has an absolute value of 1 and an angle of 90 degree plus. So we have here 1 multiplied by A G pay p half, huh? this is j. What is still missing is omega, what is still missing is c, what is still missing is u, and u is u divided by a raised by the power of j zero. And now I can multiply all the stuff, and I'm ending at, up at omega c u, and then a raised by the power of j, and then we have to add those two, because multiplying exponents, multiplying with the same uh, value down, uh, is like adding the exponent, so we have p half plus zero, uh, write it, and this ending up by at value ic multiplied by a j p half with our absolute value of IC equals omega, depending on the frequency, depending on the capacitance, and depending on the absolute value of the voltage. And with an angle of P half, so we will go up. Here is IC. Now, let's have a look at this node here. I equals IC plus IR. So let's summarize those two. Here we have our I, which is looking like that. Here we have our I, because our I equals IR plus IC. Hmm? And this equals IR was U divided by R, and then we have plus, and we will use this one, J omega, C, multiplied by U, and now I can factor out U, 
What remains inside is 1 divided by R plus J omega C and outside the bracket we have U and this equals 1 divided some complex impedance multiplied by U where I can directly follow that my inverted complex impedance 1 divided by Z equals 1 divided by R plus J omega C that's it. Now we have a real part, yeah, 1 divided by R, here. We have a complex part, omega C, an imaginary part, omega C, positive, going here. And this here is 1 divided by Z. Yeah. And here we have again the phase angle phi. It's negative in this case because it's going from current to voltage, yeah, phi. Now let's have a look how we can calculate phi with the help of our elements. Yeah? So we have our phi, which is arcus tangens, opposite divided by adjacent, omega c divided by 1 divided by r. Yeah? And it's a negative value, so we have to use minus arcus tangens again. So we have minus arcus tangens of omega c r. That's our phi, yeah, our phase angle. Now let's have a look at the power factor, the power factor cosinus phi equals, and this is adjacent divided by hypotenuse, so it's 1 divided by r divided by 1 divided by z. Yeah. So the, the absolute value of 1 divided by z, the absolute value of this, 1 divided by z equals Pythagoras, here we have 90 degree, square root of 1 divided by r squared plus omega c and this stuff also squared. So we're ending up at 1 divided by r and this r squared plus omega c squared. Power factor. Now we have everything again summarized for parallel connection of R and C. Yeah? If you forget about this minus, just think about the pointer diagram. They will help you that you see it's a negative angle. Negative angle means, well, you have, you have here from I to U and it's clockwise. So clockwise is mathematically negative. It's always the same rule. Huh? So thinking about the pointer diagram helps to not forget this. The absolute value of phi is just the sign. Yeah? The absolute of the value of phi is, is, is easy to calculate. And if, you've, if you are not sure about the sign, think about the pointer diagram. Right. So every possible thing we can have in an in a AC circuit with R and C, parallel R and C, is now written down. So we had now parallel R and C and we last time we had parallel R and L. And next time we have a look what is happening if we switch parallel R, L and C. So all three elements into parallel. We had this once with the series connection of R, L and C. There it was, there was a resonance effect. Next time we will also have a resonance effect. It's still, it's exactly defined the same. Um, how I will explain. Next video, parallel circuit of R, L and C. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.